Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry on Zin Zao with the new items and new item changes. The first item you want to rush for the most part is actually Eclipse. It's classified as a fighter item now because it no longer gives lethality. However, it gives so many stats for only 2800 gold. You get a bunch of 80, you get a bunch of ability haste, and you also get the shield and max health damage as well. She just got a ward down in my jungle. That's pretty annoying. Uh, I'll actually start bot side. I'll be level 3. She can't win the fight on me. The thing is if I start top side, that ward's gonna be fresh and they'll know exactly where I am. So I'd rather actually just start bot here. Thank you for an Ecton's fine too. Oh wow, this is... You know, I might actually just be able to kill this guy. Yeah, I'll just kill him. It's whatever. I have lethal tempo. I don't think he can take tank the minions and me at the same time. So yeah, I just need to hit him. This is way too many minions. My champion has lethal tempo. He doesn't. Alright, so we kill him. We're going to stop his stupid cheese. And uh, yeah, we'll just start on our red buff. So wherever Poppy started, I should be able to take this in time before she takes finishes her camp and comes to stop me here. Even if she wants to punish me for stopping Scion. Scion and Singe. Singe is good at stopping with his E. Scion especially. We have fast base movement speed 345. Normally you want to do uh, roughly four camps on this guy and then gank. Oh, uh, you want to fight Poppy? Pretty sure I win this, but I don't know. She's got more health than me is the tricky part. The fact that she has more health than me is, yeah. <laughs> She's such a cheeser, dude. I'll just stand right here. Good luck stunning me into the wall, Dingleberry. All right. That's pretty funny. The way she's playing is so, like, short-sighted. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is very weird. I just don't have enough HP to force the all-in. She has Dark Harvest, but I just don't have enough health. It is what it is. I should have just left it. If she's already up to 300 health on me, we're not going to be able to win that fight. But hey, at least we can afford double longsword from Eclipse. I don't know if she had her smite or not. It made fighting for those crux tricky because if she had her smite and I'm sitting there fighting for him, she can still at any point. And whoever kills the monst main monster in the camp gets the health and mana backs. So it is what it is. We'll take blue grunt. We'll be level three. Typically, Zen, you'll, uh, if you're going to start on your red buff side, you'll get EW. I guess even on blue buff side, it's also fine to go EW. And um, yeah. A lot of times they'll do four to five camps and gank. You don't typically full clear on Zin because once you're double buffs with level three, your ganks are pretty strong. So it's typically, oh, like what the heck is happening? This is, I don't understand this at all, to be honest. There's just people coming out of nowhere to take my stuff. Very strange. The mid laner had smite. I, get, I don't know how long he was waiting for that moment. Right, let's pop with the W. Let's get level 3 here. That scuttle was my level 3. We gotta go full try hard mode. Never die. And punish them for their evil sins. The Priest Punisher. Heathens! Nothing against bot side, so we'll keep clearing. Alright, let's move on to wraps. The Shaco's gonna be worthless. The Poppy is gonna be pretty worthless. She's not even ganking. Like You can't play Poppy like this. Even if she puts me behind... She doesn't scale as well as us, and she also has Dark Harvest, which is standard on Poppy to be fair, but still. You can't play that way on her and actually have high carry agency. All she's doing is putting us both behind, essentially. My champion outscales hers. Doesn't make it any less frustrating, though. Hey, Scion. Auto key reset. There's the knock up and a W. He does less damage against turret once he's dead. Alright. We'll go for Krug Raptors. I don't necessarily want to go mid because of the Shaco. 
Something I'm really looking for. Your Q is a great auto reset. You can E auto Q. It happens really fast. You typically want to knock champions up before you hit them with your W, since your W is a skill shot. That's what Vi lacks. So Vi, if she hits you with her Q, she's got nothing left to hold you still to auto you. The Zen dash is also a slow. That's how he's typically able to stay on top of his opponents. The shake goes really low. Might actually be able to kill him. If I had oracles, it'd be a lot easier to do it. Oh, Scion got a solo kill. He's going to stay for turret. Scions always do. He's six. All right. <clears throat> kind of want to hold on to my ghost. I don't know if he has his. I'll lead him with W since he's doing that. Save my E's a dash. Auto EQ. Knock up into W. Down he goes. Son of Renekton. Yes. Cool. Easy peasy, man. Focus on the weakest laner. Take my red. She might come. Oh, Shaco's coming for this. That's so obnoxious. I don't know. These people are just... An really annoying i don't have enough health to fight him right now either my my gold got spent weird there i'm just gonna skip it <clears throat> he might have already take it in time since he has smite plus pop he might show up they can sit there and play that little game together to see who can poop their pants the stinkiest and i'll keep playing the real game ganking laners Got two smite charges. I have oracles now, so I can chase Shaco after I hit him with my dash. Oh, they ended up just doing the bugs. <clears throat> Didn't even take my red. They just did void bugs. I wasn't expecting that. Poppy Q AoE and the Shaco box AoE. He doesn't have R. Cogma needs to push his lane so they can't sit in my jungle. He's not playing versus anybody right now. It could be on my red. I don't know. I mean, Shaco is low. They might have just backed. All right, they decided to back just because Shaco's low. Sion, you going to run through minions? Who knows? I'm trying to block him off here. Um, I think I could, I, I, well. All right, Poppy flashes for it. All right, not bad. It's one for one, but they do get my shutdown. Poppy burn flash. From here, I think I'd rush drag while she's low running around. She's really doing that. That's insane. I don't know. I, get, I might go over there. She seems like the type of person who's going to be greedy enough to stay for raptors or my red. That's insane. She actually st stayed to break that. Yeah, what do you know? That's what you get. Poopy pants. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Thank you for the free kill, my guy. Auto key reset. Auto W. I am absolutely going full try hard mode. I'm looking at the minimap constantly. <clears throat> they know I'm going to go for their top side. I can solo Poppy though. I have Eclipse. I don't think she'll have a full item since she purchased tier 2 boots even though she got shut down off me. I'll kill Scion again. He needs to suffer. Scion players need to suffer as much as possible. <clears throat> Successful ganks on the matter a lot as they get higher level because their respawn gets higher. We need to get to him. Auto key reset. Yeah, push me away, Poppy Poopy Pants. I have Lethal Tempo, buddy. There, there's the knockup in the W. Easy peasy. Like I said, Poppy is not going to scale, especially with the way she's playing her. You can't play Poppy like that and expect to scale. You have to get kills early on. If you're just playing to push the enemy out of their jungle and steal their camps, then you will fall behind. Just the type of character she is. 
What the heck? Alright. Got the knock up in a WE. Smack Shaker with R. Got him. I knew he stayed in bush because the shimmer disappeared and it didn't seem like it really moved. They're, they really don't want me taking their camps. They're kind of working together. I have Eclipse and Eclipse is freaking broken as heck. Oh, what do you know? She stayed? So we got her R. Let me still get her Wolf. I think we got Flashes too. We got Poppies a while ago. Eon over. Oh, hey, Poppy. Poppy poopy pants. You want to come fight me, buddy? I got Eclipse. E auto Q. Got it. The W. Goodbye. Like I said, I'm going try hard mode. Their bot lane's missing. I have to be ready to run to this plant if I see even one of them here. So Rakan's backing me up. It's going to let me stay now. Oh, they're not even rotating for this. That's really bad of them. I guess they don't want to deal with me. I'll hold on to dash for a second. All right, now we'll use it. She's running away from turret. Dean, come on. She really doesn't want me to get an assist or kill so badly. She's willing to give it to Draven. That's that's downright short-sighted. Oh, I thought Shaco would be right there at that moment. Smack him with my R. Don't take the Shaco damage. Knock up W. I need to get away from Shaco. The auto Q. I'm trying to give him something to dash to. The Shaco R took up too much space. Is a big problem in that fight. To where we couldn't really... No one could focus Shaco. Because if you risk blowing up his clone, the whole thing goes bad. Poppy's really coming in my jungle right now. Oh no, she's going for drag. Uh, I could probably just kill Senna. Hmm, yeah, I'll just go for Senna. She's not really paying attention. Get her with an E auto Q. And the W auto. Now she goes. There's Poppy. She's fast. She went for the Swifties. She's moving. Now it's time for our Hex Plate. Hex Plate OP, dude. I'm going to go into Poppy's top side. We can take a camp along the way. Pick up a control word. We try to save Oracles from we're dealing with Shaco so we can see the shimmer. You got first drag. I'm not too worried. Hex Plate's insane for our big R all in champions like Zin Zhao or Jarvan. Lots of 80 attack speed health. 30 ability haste on your R, which is pretty nice to have. I'd prefer to just have probably 20 ability haste in general, though, compared to just 30 R ability haste. It's fine. But then after you use your R, you get a bunch of attack speed and movement speed per 8 seconds, which is a very, very long time. 8 seconds is usually as long as a team fight takes, or the important part of a team fight takes. Whew. There's Poopy Pants. The auto Q. She always gets that knockback on me. But at least we got her R. Two, three, and four. Got with the W for the E extender. Smack this rat off him. Knock up in a W. Always knock up in a W if you can. E auto Q. Got it. I have lethal tempo up. Please kill Cog. Do it, do it. Okay, good. Cause she she might have actually gotten away from me. Yomu's speed and Swifty speed. Yomu's is a good item on Poppy. Thing is, if we're full health, especially since we're ahead, she has no way of killing us. Even if I wasn't ahead, it'd be hard for her. She'd have to hit wall stun. Poppy's best for killing squishies. If someone starts building HP or armor, it's hard for her to actually burst him. The auto cute. 
And what I said is the things she was doing were going to ultimately put her more behind than they were me. And that's what's happened. She's just fallen more and more behind. I'm up a full item on her. With an E auto Q, smacked the Maokai away. Knock up. Missed it onto her, but get her with my dash. I'm on Ghost as well. Oh, yeah. We don't have minions here. And he's full health, so I mean, even if we did, we're not really going to kill him. He's got a bunch of HP items. We'll go ahead and use dash on this for the attack speed bonus. Auto Q reset. Auto W reset. Nice, 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 nice. She's not gonna do it. She doesn't have the mustard. I'm not low enough for her to kill there. And with the Eclipse Shield, way too tanky. The best tankiness in League is when the enemies can't perceive it. And the shield is so good because they can't see it until it's active. And it's only two hits on a six second cooldown. E auto. Next up, you can go for pretty much anything at this point on Zin Zhao, as long as it gives it attack damage. It's going to be a decent item. I think it's best to look for uh, things like Black Cleaver and Shoujin. I don't think Sundered Sky is that important as a jungler because you can't apply it against jungle monsters. So if you are going to go Sundered Sky at the soonest on any jungler, I think third is the soonest. Second is really pushing it. Let's go for... I don't know. I guess we'll push plated into. Could go Sterix. We could go Black Cleaver. I mean, we could go Sun Sunder Sky at this point. I wouldn't mind that. The cooldown's not too long. Six seconds. So it's the same as Eclipse. It's synergized heavily with that. We can go Sunder Sky into Shojin Black Cleaver. Totally fine. Those items are all doing similar things. All attack damage. They all give ability haste. They all give HP. So. They're cousin, cousin items. Cousin keysers. E auto Q. You're taking turret. He's got Sunfire. So the turret's mashing down on him. Hey Poppy. You're smited my dude. Art away the Shaco. Auto Q. Got it. Shaco can't do anything against me. If I slap him and his clone away, there's nothing left he can do because he already has to use his mobility to get to you. He can't just walk to you. He's not fast. I'll add that extra movement speed and attack speed after popping my R from Hexplate. 15% movement speed is a huge deal. It's kind of like a whole extra pair of boots. I'll ghost for this. Missed her with that. I'll hold on to dash so I can get to her though. The auto Q and the W. Get the knock up juicy. I don't have to run away. I can do whatever I want. Oh, this is bad. They almost got me in a turret. If I was in turret, I would die there. Got her with my knockup R with the Maokai. That was a really bad fight for us. E auto Q. Yeah, that was a really tough fight for sure. Well played by Poppy. She came out of nowhere there. We'll pick up. I'd say Shojin or Cleaver. 20 ability haste versus 20. I don't feel like I really need the armor shred that much just for Scion. Yeah, Poppy flashed to the wall and got me good. We already have plated, although Dead Man's would be a good option. I don't think Holebreaker gives armor anymore. It doesn't. Holebreaker's not really the move in that sense, but Holebreaker is on hit, so it would still be good. In fact, I wouldn't mind having Holebreaker right now. It's on hit. Like every fifth attack, I have so much attack speed. 
for my E-Attack Speed Steroid, and for my Lethal Tempo that we might as well. Send his bot side. I'll hop on right over. Was that there? Did I actually not reach it? Because I know Zin can reach from there. Give my whole team blue buff real quick. I don't know what's going on. Random wards in random places. Gone with my R, E auto Q. Knock up the poppy, shred her down. Rakan can hopefully kill her nice. She's so squishy, bro. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of damage to you. Sundered Sky's already healed me for 600. I've barely even gotten this item. Eclipse, it won't tell me how much it shielded me for, but I know it's a lot. Shaco having flash is weird. It makes him so much harder to kill. You never see Shaco take flash, though. It's just, he always takes ignite. The auto Q. Oh. Huh. Must have gone the opposite way. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, you're dead, Shaco. <laughs> fun is fun, but who needs it? Clowning around. That's the thing about Shaco is uh, it's a fine line between trolling and actually helping. I missed the big one with that. Oh, hey, friend. He auto QW. He's already slowed. I had him lined up for the W. I wanted to get down for the Q cooldown reduction. I missed it. Dang. E auto Q. We get the knock up into W this time so we don't freaking miss. Down he goes. Sundered Sky, baby. E auto Q. And a W. Kog'Maw is going to rip this guy in half. He's trying to get his uh, thing off me. His heart still. I don't want to give it though. Poppy's pretty strong right now. We can handle her though. Auto key reset. This stupid Shaco clone's about to blow up on me. Yep. I knew it was about to time out. E auto Q. She walked the way. Oh man, she's antagonizing me. She walks back forward with no health. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, there's nothing there, dang. Maokai flashes. He'll probably be able to get to Kogma. Kogma's a slow champ. He's tier 1 boots. Kogma ends up flashing to get away. This is a 5 man blue buff. Once you have your jungle item finished, any buff you or your allies take, give it to the whole team. It doesn't share the golden XP, it shares the buff. Hey, friend. You auto Q. I'm not gonna press W. <laughs> She has three full items there, guys. I'm three full items. It's a champ diff. That fight, well, I'm also three levels up to be fair, but still. She couldn't do any damage because Eclipse Shield and Sundered Sky Hill. That's not the real shake. Oh! My dash seriously didn't get me over the wall there. They were over it. <laughs> I needed to wait slightly longer. It puts you on the side you're facing them. Clearly not that close. Otherwise, we would have gone over. I could commit here, but I definitely die from Maokai. There's no need to trade for Senna. She's not that valuable. The auto Q. Auto R. The auto. Whoa, look at my health. My health is so high. Holy crap. Dude, I'm healing like crazy. My lethal tempo is really high. Whoa! All right, yeah. Eclipse in uh, Sundered Sky Synergy is stupid. Those items together, since they're both on six second cooldown, is ridiculous. Let's get the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we had far and above the highest in the game, even being trollo lulled by the Poppy Shaco. Like I said, playing that way in the current League of Legends meta, where 
you're trying to put the enemy jungler behind, it doesn't do anything. Unless you're killing him, it literally just doesn't do anything because there's catch up XP. So even if they put you down XP, it doesn't matter. And if you're ganking, like it just doesn't, don't do it. Uh, unless you're putting yourself in a situation where it's a guaranteed kill type of thing. But otherwise, if you're just going in, you see them, you push them off a camp, you've accomplished basically nothing and you're hoping your team carries you because you're putting yourself so far behind just to take a camp. Uh, it, it is what it is. So for damage dealt, we had a really high about. Javen was pretty high as well, which is weird because I never really saw him. Damage taken, most on our team. Scion, most in the game. And then for self-mitigated, most on our team, not quite the most in the game. And for runes, high value. All in all, I don't think Xin Zhao's next necessarily OP or overpowered, but he does have the potential to turbo carry with not a lot of skill since he doesn't really have skill shots. And once you knock someone up, you have no skill shots. So, with that being said, Zin's still definitely a solid character, but, big but here, Eclipse, Sundered Sky Synergy is stupid. There's no way to really calculate it when people are playing against you, they fight you, and all of a sudden, bam, you get so much health and shield instantly. They can never know if they should leave the fight or keep fighting or engage on you, they don't know, and all that indecision helps us out. With experimental hex play, I wouldn't say get Sundered Sky first or second item as a jungler in general. It's safest as a third or later, because it doesn't do anything against your monster camps on the passive to where it won't speed up your camps. If you guys enjoyed this Zin video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.